Hi everyone, it's me Cheryl. I hope you're all alright. I'm knitting again and this time it's a sideways scarf in garter stitch. So it's DK weight yarn, 4 millimeter needles and it's 280 stitches and I'm going to work it for 7 inches. And it's going to go with a sideways hat. I've got a couple of patterns which are sort of merged last time. It was about this time last year and I made a baby hat out of some chunky yarn I had left. Um, so I'm going to do the same again. And when I first started this, I was thinking, oh, I'm going to have to do a gauge swatch for the hat and blah, blah, blah. And then I thought, this is a gauge swatch. <laughs> so luckily I was doing this first, so I will use this as a gauge swatch for the hat when I come to do it. But this is a project, uh, it's a filler in really. Um, but I do intend on finishing it because I did say I was going to finish all my whips, didn't I? So that's what this is and it's also a really good project for me to knit while I'm talking with you guys because it is just knit. So there's nothing really challenging about that then. So I think that's about three and a half inches perhaps. I can't quite remember. I need to measure it but I don't need to worry about that just yet. Anyway I wanted to show you the hat I finished. <laughs> Can you tell I don't like it? I knew I wouldn't like it. So anyway, here it is. Now that's a rolled over brim. Now that was a one by one ribbon, that was absolutely fine. Didn't mind that, but I knew the moment I got to the pattern that it was, it's, it's the short colour runs that did it. It's just too short and it's too busy and I just don't like it. And it's a four row repeat. Every alternate row was knit. And then basically you just Pearl three together and then make three, like knit, pearl, knit in the same loop. And then you switch it, the every alternate row. But because it was knit on the flat, um, that's why you got the pearl three together. Also, I don't like the way it ends. It's not a proper crown decrease. It's just like um, pearl two together till the end of the row. And I thought, that's it. No, I don't know. I knit another round and I pulled two together again. I did it another couple of times. And the white's like that. But then I had to sew it up. And then you can see, oh, it's just not nice. Would I do this pattern again? Yes. I would change two things. One, I would do it in the round. So instead of pull three together on this pattern up here, it'd be knit three together. And then um, I would do it on either a very plain yarn or a yarn with a very long colour on. So you can actually see what that pattern is. I have no idea what that pattern is. I can't properly see it. Because it's just too busy. So anyway, I'm not wearing that so I don't care. <laughs> but yeah, I wasn't very impressed with that. So, a knit and natter. Oh, it's there. I'm working on a pair of socks. But I'm just about to turn the heel. So I can get it out. Oh, this bag's always heavy to pick up. This is me missing that's a bag. It's a backpack. I've only just started turning the heel, so you recognise that from one of our previous videos. Tam made that. Tam's crafty mix. And I like it. I've got another one of hers as well. It reminds me of, it's the colours, it reminds me of Battenberg, although it's not a Battenberg pattern. So I've just started that, the heel turn, I'm just at that first bit. Can you see? So I stopped. Oh yeah, where did I stop? Yeah, I need to work back to. I don't even know where I am. Yeah, I'm, I'm about halfway. I'm, I'm on a pearl stitch. So I need to work back towards this little marker here. But you know what? I think I should actually start. I won't do it now because I'm talking. But once I finish talking, I think I'll do that and get on to the next stage before knitting that on Thursday because I don't like starting 
when I'm halfway through something. It depends what it is. If it's just plain knitting, it's no problem. Anyway, so this is the time of year that I get a load of, um, my hands need a lot more cream. I don't really tend to need it in the summer, I think because my sweat, my natural oils are keeping it lubricated. So I would have one of these downstairs and something similar upstairs because I originally had the, the one upstairs called Mixer, M-I-X-A and it was roughly about the same size and I went to find another one that didn't have any so I got this the problem with these tubes is you know there's more in there and you can't get it out towards the end it's, when it's getting towards the end it's horrible it's quite a waste actually anyway my mum recommended um, working hands and so I found them on Amazon and I decided to get two of them, one for upstairs, one for downstairs and I just lather it on. It's, it's really nice, it works really well. So I keep my hands, the back of my hands lubricated so they don't dry out. Because I do wash my hands quite a lot because you know when you're looking after Christopher and um, changing his nappy and stuff, I always wash my hands. So, oh god, next week I don't envy him. He's got a toenail infection. Um, and he's had it for a while, we've tried different things and originally the toenail solution did actually work. It was like a paint. It did work, it went away, but then it came back again and then it stopped working and then we've tried other things. We've even tried um, oregano oil. I think it's oregano oil. I have got that right, haven't I? Um, we weren't sure whether that was working and then it didn't. So now he has some oral medication and he can only take oral medication in a liquid form because the thing is he would chew tablets and unless tablets are actually chewable he would actually chew them he doesn't understand about swallowing straight away and I don't know how to get it to a certain point of his throat where he has to swallow with a drink I don't know about that I know I've done it with a dog we used to have a Yorkshire Terrier many many years ago when I lived at home with my parents and I managed to give him a, a tablet the dentist not the dentist <laughs> the vet told me how to do it it was really quite easy. You, li you line it up with his... Oh God, I can't even... I've got, I've got a human biology qualification as well. Um, you line it up with his esophagus and then you just give it a little nudge and it goes down itself. I dare do that with CJ. Anyway, so liquid medication it is and he has to have this medication for one week, twice a day, out of every four weeks. So next week he starts the next dosage. The last dosage, oh, a couple of days into it, we didn't know whether he had a stomach bug or whether it was his medication because he had diarrhea. And that's not pleasant for him because he can't evacuate him, like at the toilet. He has to go in his nappy and it was unpleasant for us to clean it up. And so we're thinking, oh God, I hope it's a bug because it'll stop in a couple of days. No, it continued. We're like, it's the medication. He's going to have this every single time. So we've now got some other medication to hopefully counteract that. Fingers crossed it works. So he has to take it at the same time. <sighs> but it's, it's hard stuff anyway. But he's also got some nail, which we started with a few weeks ago. No, a few months ago. Which didn't really work. You do it on the outside, but it's more like a, a pedicure. You, you're finding the top of the nail. And then you're putting the stuff on it. Um, but we thought, let's just continue doing that. I know we're getting it from doing it from the inside, but we're also doing that. And I've also made sure to spray his shoes because he has these big, thick Pedro boots and he wears these Air Force splints. So I spray them with the shoe spray. So fingers crossed. You know what they use on bowling alleys with the shoes? They always spray the shoes. I started using that when I lived in Middlesbrough. I used to go to the gym. And um, my first pair of trainers didn't last very long. They just fell apart inside. And I thought, oh. So my next pair I got, I started to use the shoe spray and they lasted so much longer. What a difference. So I think it was probably the, you know, the bacteria, the antifungal, like the antifungal properties in the shoe spray that um, preserved my shoes. So I'll start to do that in CJ shoes. Hopefully that'll help as well. Just have to wait and find out, but the biggest thing is we're hoping for is the 
the anti-diarrhea medication to work with him. Because one week in every four, that's going to happen. Oh, that's not nice. Anywho, um, I'm finishing off. Oh, I started crocheting this um, top. And it's basically like a rectangle, and then you do you do a rectangle which fits like between shoulder blades, and then you do like two chains down either side, which are the armholes, and then you go round and round and round and round with shelf stitches. So obviously I'm doing more rounds than it was said because it's a different, it's a lighter weight yarn. And I just thought, you know what, I'll keep going until I finish the uh, the skein of yarn. So I'm doing that upstairs on my downtime. We watched we watch one programme of something before we go to bed and something we've recorded. So we just finished watching Mad Men, third season of Mad Men. We've got the other seasons ready to watch, but we've switched now to watching the final season of Humans, where the synthetic humans. It's really good. <clears throat> and then we'll no doubt go back to Mad Men because that's what my husband's going to choose, which means I'm going to be choosing something else when we finish that season. That way, so yes, we're watching every sing single episode of that season, one night after another after another. So it's a sort of binge watch, but it's not quite. Because um, some people sit there all day and watch the whole season of summer. We just don't have a chance to do anything like that. But we get sick of the consecutive seasons, because we used to watch Suits. And for the first couple of seasons, I was okay with it. And what made me quite amused was, um, strangely enough, one of the main characters called, I think she was called Jessica, she reminded me of that cartoon character who had the same style of clothing, who, on a who framed Roger Rabbit. She reminded me of her. I think that was called Jessica as well, the character. But, you know, after a couple of seasons, I got really fed up with suits and it was all that backbiting and stabbing and they all seemed to, like, be against each other. Yet when outside influencers were attacking them, attacking them, it sounds like a war, but it did seem like that. Then they'd all band together and stick up for each other and have each other's back. But it was like, I hate this toxicity. I couldn't cope with it anymore. And I thought, there's only one character in there that I didn't mind, but the rest of them, I thought, they're just backbiting all the time. And, oh, they're not very nice. I had to stop watching it. So, yeah, I don't watch that anymore. I can't even remember how far we got with it. Um, Mike and Rachel hadn't got married then, so I know they were just moved in together. And I think that was that was it. I just couldn't cope with it anymore. But we have to figure out what else we're going to watch. Oh yeah, because when we watch stuff like Big Bang Theory, we watch three episodes because they're only about 20 minutes long. And that's the same with Modern Family as well. So we've got a couple of seasons, no, of one season, I think, with Modern Family to watch, and I think there's another one to come of um, Big Bang Theory. Oh, another short one as well is Silicon Valley. <laughs> it sounds like I watch TV all the time, but really, honestly, I don't. It's like one hour before we go to bed, and that's it. But that's not even as it's being transmitted, it's something we've recorded, so... But anyway, I finished my other project I talked about. I alluded to it, but because it's not this genre for this channel, I don't want to talk much about that because huh, people will leave in droves if they think I've changed genre of channels, the channel. So anyway, but if you might, if you follow me on Instagram, you'll have seen what it is, and I'm really proud of that. So yes, I'm doing another one, of course, different. Um, project which is good so I will share that as soon as I've finished it but I'm, de I'm determined to become a mon monogamist with regard to that particular those particular activity because with my knitting and crochet I'm not yeah and my younger son said oh that will soon spiral it would actually and I can see myself doing it <laughs> starting several projects at the same time um, but I want to keep track of things um, items used in case I'm asked 
Um, but talking of my youngest son, he and his girlfriend moved in together into their new home. Um, they're renting a place. It's, it's a short commute away from where, where he works. He still works in, in Leeds. Um, but they were looking at properties because his lease would expire anyway at the end of June. But luckily, because they've got a student to replace him, he was just able to get out the contract early, so there was no problem there. Anyway, they found, they went, they were looking for properties. I just picked a hair up my <laughs> Anyway, they were looking for pro properties to rent, but it was too expensive in Leeds, so they're moving, they're moving, they have moved now. They're moving this weekend to Huddersfield, so that's really good. I'm really proud of him and, and her, so let's hope they'll be very happy in their new place. And So yeah, I'm really pleased for them. So they've had a very busy weekend and they will have many very busy weeks to come really as they're settling in, getting new stuff and getting the place sorted before they're settling in. Well, they are settling in now, but you know what I mean. <clears throat> anyway, I can't believe I've needed it. Oh, 280 stitches. No, 180. Did I say 280? It is 280, I forgot. 280 stitches. I'm nearly at the end. I've got two stitch markers in here because I'm not very good at counting rolls on <coughs> garter stitch. So I've got me two <coughs> stitch markers when I was going that in that direction with the knitting. So that's two rolls apart. It's just so I can remind myself. I can count rolls when it's stuck in its stitch, but when it's garter stitch, I just lose it. But I only wanted to do that for the gauge for the um, hat when I do that. So anyway, do you know what? I think that's all my news. And it is. Yeah, that's all my news. And that was a, a, um, a knit and chat. And I hope you don't mind this. Because I do wonder what I'm going to talk about. And I don't know if I'm going to talk about too much stuff or too little stuff or whatever. But I think the time on there, I've probably got quite a bit, haven't I? Oh my god. Right, I'll finish this row. Um, three, two, and one. I've finished it. All done. Right, I shall see you next time. I don't know what I'm going to be finishing next. Uh, do you know what? I think I'll probably finish them socks before I finish this. <laughs> this is good for sitting here and chatting, isn't it, though? Anyway, so I'll leave that here, and I will speak with you next time. Take care, everyone. Bye.